Greetings, guzzlers, and welcome to the start of a glorious three-day weekend here in the United States. Well, three days for some of it, some of us, inevitably some folks are going to have to work Monday. So my hat's off to you, and I'll raise a glass. And I have a friend to show you that was $30. And we have a special guest. This is, my God, this is Squirtle buys beverages. Go, pizza boy. <laughs> Anyhow, I had no idea what to get today for tonight's video. I wanted to do a video all day, but I had no idea till I was driving home, fiddling with my radio as one does. And then I heard a song and it, it was pure inspiration. And I've done many things. Music can be so inspiring. I mean, that's how I ended up with this rose tattoo on my arm from the Dropkick Murphy song, Rose Tattoo. And also some prodding from uh, my creative speaking, how to speak. A speech given class that I got to teach one year when I was a school teacher. Buys beverages. But that was a lifetime ago. And before I tell you what song I heard, what inspired me, I want to ask everybody to please hit the like and subscribe buttons. As well as the notification bell. Now, the song I heard with its deep bass line and its drumming was none other than a George Thorogood classic involving three, three beverages. Count them. One, two, three. And you know what they were? One bourbon. One scotch. And a one beer. Don't worry, I'll destroy this song later. Uh, for all to enjoy or fear. But a special thanks goes out to, I believe it was Mitch Buys Beverages who introduced me to that song long ago back in high school. But as it comes to find out, before I, I sample all these lovely drinks, while I knew that George Thorogood covered lots of songs in his career, I had no idea that one bourbon, one scotch, one beer was actually a Bo Diddley cover until I ran into a former coworker in the parking lot. So be that as it may, let's bust some of these out. And since the chorus is one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer, let's start with the bourbon, shall we? Got some Jack Daniels, number seven. I got the tiny bottles this time, or the smaller ones, because big bottles are expensive. And then if big bottles are around the house, well, they tend to get drunk. And the big bottle's expensive, and that's a lot. So anyhow, let's crack this open. Use this glass. Oh, but before I do, I have, have a treat. I have whiskey stones. These have been in the freezer for several years now. And if you're unfamiliar with what whiskey stones are, they're stone cubes. Keep them in the freezer so they're cold, but as they, uh, and you put your alcoholic beverages in them, but they don't melt like ice, so you don't get water in your drink. Now, as I recall, they make everything taste a whole lot like dirt. So anyhow, whiskey stones in my uh, calf glass there. Do a little bit of this. So one bourbon, one scotch. Some more stones. And one beer. Now, why these three particular choices there? Ben buys beverages. Well, Jack Daniels and Johnny Walker are classic. And frankly, Natural Light was my, was my college beer of choice. Because when you're young, you ain't got much money, but you do have a powerful thirst. And Natural Light is what quenched said thirst. Now, Shout out goes to uh, Uncle Mike buys beverages, no relation. Because he was the one who introduced me to Natural Light. So there you have it. I can't lift up all three glasses at once, so you'll have to bear with me. One bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. So let's try Jack Daniels, shall we? But please note, it's darker, not much, but darker than the scotch. Hmm. 
you can't really taste the, no, you can taste a little bit of something off the, the, the stones. But other than that, it's very smooth. Now the scotch has a much stronger taste. It's Johnny Walker Red. And yeah, that just tastes like refreshing cold. A little bit of flavored water. So on the whole, I gotta tell you, <clears throat> in the immortal words of George Thorogood channeling Bo Diddley, well, I ain't seen the baby since, don't know when. Mr. Bartender, set him up again. Gonna get drunk, man, listen to me. Wondering ain't enough, Jack, you better make it three. Gonna get drunk, won't you listen right here. I wanted one bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. One bourbon, one scotch, and one beer. Yeah, I told you I'd mangle it. So, um, let's give these some numbers. Mm. I like Jack Daniels straight and smooth. Uh, we'll say eight. The scotch is a noticeable taste. I'm going to call that eight, but for different reasons. It's very earthy. And the beer, well, it's natural light. And all memories through rose-colored glasses, or I guess in this case, rose-colored uh, taste buds, mm. are a 10. Oh, the taste of nostalgia and memories. But all things considered, this is a mess. I can't do it all. So let's all just pour it all in one glass, shall we? What kind of a mess? Ooh, what kind of a mess can we make? Try not to dump the stones in the glass. With my luck, the whole thing would shatter. All right. So that's the Jack Daniels. Here is the Johnny Walker. All right. I don't have a spoon, so I'll just kind of mix it up like so. And... That one just went straight down the, the gullet. It's just a weird taste. I will never do that again. Uh, but as is, I'll say seven out of 10. So one bourbon, one scotch, one beer, a variety of numbers, and some George Thorogood uh, earworms stuck in your head. So on that note, cheers!